Putin's unprovoked attack on Ukraine is without doubt an illegal and unethical war against an innocent country and its people. A UN sovereign member state invading another, murdering innocent civilians, spreading misinformation and lies to attempt to make the world accept its crimes. And the fact that Russia was given a platform here to spread its misinformation and lies is an outrage, and not the job of this forum to give a platform for Putin's heinous crimes against democracy itself. This invasion is a violation of international law. Women and children being gunned down, targeted, as they queue for bread or shelter from bombs, indiscriminate attacks on civilians, homes being destroyed, dead bodies left on the street, women raped and murdered, grandparents and children shot as they attempt to flee, and children forced to see their parents left to bleed out as no medical aid can get to them. The world must wake up and recognize that this is not a conflict in some far off place. This is an illegal war and it is going to impact every single one of us, wherever we are in the world. And while we open our doors to millions of frightened and free, fleeing Ukrainian refugees, many neighboring countries wonder if they will be next terrified as the history books are replayed. The tales told to them of the Second World War still imprinted on their memories. 96-year-old Boris Romanchenko, a Ukrainian Holocaust survivor, was killed yesterday during the shelling of his apartment block. Indiscriminate and unjustified attacks. We are at a turning point in history. A turning point for our generation and our children. This war will touch every part of humanity if it isn't stopped. We must not be asking ourselves in years to come why we didn't stop Putin when the signs were so clear. We know how this ends. The question is, what will we do now? We stand in solidarity with Ukraine and its people, and as parliamentarians come together to do all we can to stop this invasion. Do not be on the wrong side of history.